This is Gene Key, KDD Texas News from KENS5.com. The investigation continues as authorities work to determine what caused a mobile home fire in San Antonio that killed three people early Sunday morning, including an expectant mother. The blaze began at around 3:30 a.m. Sunday in the 15,000 block of Henza Road in Southern Bear County. A 50-year-old man and 47-year-old woman were able to make it out alive. Two men and a pregnant woman weren't so fortunate. So far, authorities have not released the victims' names. Fire marshals said they believe the fire started in a bedroom area of the trailer, but they may never be able to determine the exact cause. They have ruled out arson. The Associated Press reports from Austin. A three-judge panel says that the only way to keep the Texas primaries on April the 3rd is for all sides to agree on a temporary political map within two weeks. The federal court was responding to motions filed by the Texas Attorney General and minority groups contesting the congressional and legislative maps drawn by the legislature. Attorney General Greg Abbott asked the court to move quickly to draw temporary maps so that Texas can hold its primary on April the 3rd. The minority group wanted time to present evidence for what they think the map should look like. That would delay the vote. The judge asked the parties to agree on a temporary map by February the 6th. Without that, the judges said the vote would be delayed or split into two dates. From the Associated Press, five children have been hospitalized after a school bus crashed on a Houston freeway. Alden Independent School District spokeswoman Letitia Failing says the accident occurred Monday morning on Interstate 45. Failing says no serious injuries were reported. She says all five children on the bus were taken to the Texas Children's Hospital. As a precaution, she says the ages of the children were not immediately known. The children attended two elementary schools and an early childhood center. If you would like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDD Texas News.